We have categorized our best business backpacks into seven distinct categories and user case scenarios. So you can easily find which one of these business backpacks is best for your needs. And this video is just a roundup. This means we give you a brief glance at each business backpack. But the best part is if you want a more in-depth look at the pack, we put links to the full video review in the description below. But before we get into the actual backpacks, let's just do a quick backpack theory. So you and I are on the same page for what a business backpack is and what it isn't. To me, a business backpack has four important features. Three and a half, let's say. Number one, it has to securely hold your laptop and or documents. Number two, it needs to be streamlined. Whether you're catching a cab to a client meeting, grabbing the train to work, or flying to a conference, business people have a tendency to move and to move fast. So you want your backpack to be able to move fast with you. Point three, which is kind of a half point, it'll be really important to some of you, is the backpack having a luggage pass-through holder. But the fourth point, and easily the most important, at least in my opinion, is the aesthetic. In essence, a business backpack will probably work like most other backpacks, but it has to look the part. And it doesn't matter if you work in a corporate environment or an agency environment, or maybe you're just a creative. You just wanna make sure that your business backpack is a reflection of your personal brand. Let's dive right in. We're gonna start from the smallest to the biggest. The first one on the list of our best business backpacks, the AirTech Sling 2 aka our pick for the best small business everyday carry. And I know you might be thinking, you might be, Aaron, one strap, that's a sling, not a backpack. To which I say, not necessarily true. It's like a half backpack meets a sling, meets a messenger, meets a briefcase. It's a four in one. But more than just its functionality and how many ways it can be worn is the look, right? Even if you're in a corporate environment or a salesperson, you show up to a meeting with this, you're gonna look the part. And that's why I love the Air Tech Sling too. No matter the situation, this thing's got you. Let's get inside real fast. Some quick notes, we have Junior Ballistic Nylon, a 1680 Ballistic Nylon here, and a Poly U coated Ballistic Nylon. I think it's like a 600D here. Highly weather resistant. Three compartments, we got like a quick access pocket right here, great for your shades or for your cell phone. In the back we have the tech compartment, very well padded, very nice scratch resistant materials, and it can fit up to a 13 inch laptop. But out of all compartments, I love the main compartment because you got a decent amount of organization. Larger pocket here, great for maybe a chunky Bluetooth mouse, or like those bulky passes that you have for conferences. The zip pocket here, meant for your keys, also a good spot for your wallet. Back compartment, great for a tablet, maybe documents. Two pen holders, gotta sign contracts, right? One for you, one for the client. Headphones can go in here. Computer charger right there. It's got all the organization that a modern business professional needs. But while this compartment does have a decent amount of expandability to it, things get real tight in here real fast. So if you want the Bluetooth keyboard and your Bluetooth mouse is like one of those super ergonomic, like chunky ones, and you wear the overhead headphones while you're on the train going to your meeting, that's when the Air Tech Sling 2 just is too small. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Air Tech Sling 2. Pro number one, the various ways that it can be carried. Pro number two is just the overall lightness and smallness of it. And pro number three is gonna be this cool looking like wrinkly front area. Con number one, things get very tight, very fast. And con number two is, you hear this buckle right here? When you're wearing this in sling mode and it's over your chest and you're walking around and this thing is really packed out, the buckle has a tendency to be a little squeaky. It's kind of like a <laughs> and it's a little agitating. If you're totally vibing with the Air Tech Sling 2 right now, believe me, I get it. It's like my personal favorite EDC of all time. And you want to learn more? Take a look at the description where we have a full link to the review. Okay, next up on our list of the best business backpacks is the Nomadic Messenger Bag. And I know it's not a backpack, but I had to include it because this is our pick for the best business messenger. Because messengers in business go hand in hand very well. When it comes to business gear, Nomadic really knows what they're doing. It's got a very sleek, professional look to it. A luggage pass-through holder. It has all the organization for your documents, tech stuff, laptop that you could ever need. Let's take a look. This external material is tarpaulin. Tarpaulin has a really smooth, like leather mixed with rubber kind of a feel to it, which means it's great for weather resistance, but really bad for scratch resistance. Getting inside, we have one, two, three, four pockets. The first one is like sort of the quick access pocket. 
We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten smaller pockets in there. We've got a little document sleeve here. Great spot for multiple business cards. This is a great messenger bag if you're going to conferences or doing a lot of networking. RFID safe pocket right here, which means it's great for credit cards and or your passport. So if you're traveling with this, the RFID safe compartment plus the luggage pass through holder, great combo. Quick access pocket on the top, microfiber scratch resistant material, perfect for your sunglasses or phone. The main compartment has a really nice opening. You can see it sort of opens flat like this, giving you really quick and easy access to all your stuff that's in this compartment. Mesh pocket right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six mesh pockets. On the back panel, we've got a sleeve, great for documents and or another tablet. The main compartment also has a decent amount of space. It should be noted, this is not a super slim messenger. Like you think like those super slim, like briefcases that can hold a few documents. This is a lot bulkier, but you have that extra space to carry your stuff. And you also have this little Velcro compartment, which can be switched out with a different Velcro compartment. Hulk smash. And on the back, we have the tech compartment. Yet again, sort of a clamshell style opening. Another document sleeve. This is for the big contracts, right? Then we have the tech area. Well padded, scratch resistant materials. You can fit a tablet here, laptop here. We think it can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. This is a 14 inch, right Tav? 14 inch fits with room to spare. Let's talk about some of the pros and the cons. Pro number one, kind of organization. Pro number two is it can be carried in messenger mode as well as brief mode. And if you want to carry it in just brief mode and get rid of the straps, magnetic clasp on, clasp off. That's fun. Woo. And pro number three is that all the external zippers are PU coated, which means that they're highly weather resistant, keeping those documents nice and safe. But I definitely got some cons with this guy too. Con number one, it's a big one. It's not the most comfortable carrying experience. It's big, it's boxy, it's bulky. And con number two is that we think at this price point, Nomadic could have used some better materials. If you're digging the Nomadic Messenger, you're like, this is the business pack messenger for me. Take a look at the description. We have a link to the full review. Next up, the modern day Ferrer backpack. The first actual backpack, which we think is the best business slash I go to the gym after or before business backpack. It's a great gym slash business backpack. Two reasons. One, on the bottom, ventilated shoe compartment. That's for the gym part of the bag. And then number two is the PU coated laptop compartment, which can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. That's the business part of the bag. But really this bag is so much more. We've got some really premium materials. Cordura ballistic nylon on the outside. Very satisfying magnetic fidlock buckle at the top. YKK zips, many of which are PU coated. And some really great interior materials also made from Cordura. Ripstop nylon, and I love the white color of these interior materials. It helps to create a highlight effect with the bag, which makes it easier to find your gear. As you can see, the main compartment is fairly minimalist. One, two pockets over here. Then you got this big compartment on the back panel, good for documents, or you can throw your gym towel back there. But one of the best selling points of this backpack is the ease of access while you're wearing it. For instance, when you sling it over your shoulder, you can easily access the front compartment right here, the side compartment right here, and sort of the hidden back wallet compartment right here. This is a great feature for business carry as typically business people like myself, we're on the move, we need things fast, whether it's your wallet, whether it's your keys, maybe you got your sunglasses in there, whatever it is, that ease of access, that quick grab um, is one of my favorite parts of the modern day Farrah backpack. And real fast business person, my name is Aaron, the guy behind the camera is Tav, and our business is Nomads Nation. We review backpacks, we talk about digital nomad lifestyle, we have meowing cats sometime, Come here, you wanna be in the video? The random cat cameo? So if that's your thing, you should definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Back to the review. Pros and cons. Pro number one, we love that this backpack really holds its shape. Doesn't matter if it's packed out or not packed out, it always has kind of like that strong, kind of masculine feel and look to it. Pro number two is I love the three side quick access pockets. 
but especially this one. There's a little bit of organization in there as well as a keyring solution. And pro number three is the innovative water bottle pocket. It opens and closes with a zipper so it can easily expand when you have a water bottle and be nice and flush when you're not having a water bottle. But while I do love this bag, I have some cons. Con number one is while I love that it maintains its shape, I wish that it would always maintain its balance and stand up straight. And con number two is the material on these corners right here when you're closing the top of the main compartment. They have a tendency to kind of stick out. You just gotta keep in mind to tuck them in. The modern Dayfarer backpack is a great business backpack. If you're thinking it could be the business backpack for you, down there in the description, you can find a link to our full review. Next up on the list of best business backpacks, the Bellroy Melbourne, AKA our pick for the best business backpack for creatives. Are you a graphic designer, product designer, architect? I could totally see architects wearing this. It's just, this is a really nice, sleek, sexy, sophisticated looking business backpack. that just has a little bit more of a creative flair to it. And it's also easily the most minimalist pack on this list. Let me show you why. First of all, I love the materials. Bellroy utilizes 100% recycled materials. This almost feels like you meshed denim with plastic and created this. It's got this cool, hip, wrinkly vibe to it, along with Bellroy's kind of iconic, like leather accent tabs. It's, it's really well designed. The accents also continue like right there, the nice little yellow just pops. And then that also continues to the main compartment, which is just beautiful. But note the minimalism here. You got the water bottle holder on the outside, a little semi-hidden zipper on the back panel. And then in the main compartment, you have one pocket, two pocket, three pocket, four pocket. That's it. Super minimalist. Notice on the back panel of the main compartment, it's where all your tech stuff goes and or documents. And this laptop compartment fits up to a 16 inch laptop. And one more thing to note, the defining characteristic of this backpack is the fact that it's like kind of a magnetic top loading roll top fusion. And it's highly controversial. Reason being, I love it because it's so satisfying to use. You got this leather tab right there, these two strong magnets. And just opening and closing is an absolute breeze. But the criticism comes from the lack of security. Imagine you're wearing the backpack on your back and someone just kind of can do one of those. You may or may not notice. I'm just saying it's not the most theft resistant backpack we have ever reviewed. Pros and cons. Pro number one, super minimalist user experience. Pro number two, color options. All of the other business backpacks are either black or gray. This comes in like this tanny bone color. And there's also a lunar green option available. Pro number three, just kind of going on the note of the colors. I just love the color of the interior materials and how they threw a little bit of color on the nylon webbing of the shoulder straps as well. But let's talk about the cons. Con number one, lack of security. And con number two is that the shoulder straps are a little thin at the bottom. Looks great. But when this pack is really loaded out, that thinness might cut into a little bit and it might not be the most comfortable carrying experience. Dig in the Bellroy Melbourne? Then you should watch the full review. You know where to find it. Link, description, below. Next up is the Manal Daily 3.0 bag, which is our pick for the best business backpack for digital nomads. And the reason is the aesthetic, right? It has like a pretty business professional look to it. It is a backpack that transforms into a briefcase. Minimalist outside of the bag, no water bottle holder on the outside, just a handle on the top and a handle on the side. Top pocket for your quick access stuff. And then a main compartment that is also fairly minimalist. Nothing on this side right here, just a water bottle pocket and two larger compartments, one non-mesh, one mesh. And that's it for like the main compartment. And you're probably like, Aaron, why the hell is this a business backpack? Let's talk about the tech compartment. Now on this side, it's really like a portable mini office. Two business card slots, one for you, one for them. Pocket right here, good for maybe passes for a conference. A little zip pack for the little tidbits of gear you don't want to get lost. And then the document sleeve. Files, documents, papers. They go right there, clip them in place, keep them tidy, keep them secure. And then other side is the tech compartment of your portable office. This is a very innovative tech compartment, not just because of the way that it's engineered, but the actual materials that they use. These are well padded, a slight little bit of elasticity to them. And then you got the Velcro on the top 
and the side, which means you can access your laptop from the side access, as well as, you guessed it, top access. The Velcro gives you a little bit of room to play with depending on the size of your laptop. And you can make extra adjustments on these little like loopy daisy chain looking right up here. It says it can fit up to a 16 inch laptop, but we suspect it could probably hold bigger. And then we have the smaller compartment, perfect for a tablet. It says it fits up to a size 11 inch tablet. And Tab's suspicions were correct. You see right here, got a typical A4 piece of paper, which means if you got files, documents, papers, they can also go here. Yes, they can. Pros, cons, let's go. Pro number one, versatility. It's a business backpack that would not look out of place on a hike. Pro number two, one of the best backpack to briefcase hybrids we have ever reviewed. And pro number three, it's just gotta be the innovation of like the portable office. This is cool. No way around it, it's just tight. But the cons. Con number one, doesn't hold its shape. You can see when it's not packed out, it looks a little bit more flimsy. It doesn't have quite as much of like that powerful business aesthetic. And con number two is our bag, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, you can totally see that. Came with a little bit of wrinkles. Yet again, negative points for the aesthetic. To discover more about the Manal Daily 3.0 bag, navigate your way on down south. Description, you'll find a link to our full review. Next up, the Airflight Pack 2, which is our pick for the best EDC slash carry-on backpack. Just like with the Air Tech Sling 2, the Air Flight Pack 2 can be carried in multiple ways. You got brief mode, you got backpack mode, and you got messenger mode. And when you're in briefcase and or messenger mode, the backpack straps easily stow away, making it a true hybrid and giving you a truly seamless carrying experience. The exterior of the pack is covered in Cordura 1680 ballistic nylon. Smooth to the touch, yet extremely durable. Why is it durable? Because it was developed by the military, bro. That doesn't mean this backpack's gonna stop bullets, but it is highly weather resistant. The front of the bag is split by a chunky PU-coated YKK zip. This zip gives the bag a really nice aesthetic and also access to this front pocket right here. From there, we have an organization compartment. Ooh, look at them pockets. Computer charger, Bluetooth mouse, two pen holders, pen for you, pen for them, business card holder, and then a zippered pocket on the top. Good spot for like a wallet, passport, just smaller things that you don't wanna get lost. And then in the main compartment, we have these two Velcro pockets. they got a nice little expansion to them. This is actually the perfect spot for your laptop charger. And then on the flip side, tablet and or documents compartment and a well padded laptop compartment that holds up to a 15.6 inch laptop. Very specific, but that's what the website says. Okay, what are your pros and what are your cons? Pro number one is the carrying versatility. Pro number two, it's comfy. Well padded backpack straps when you're in backpack mode and a comfy handle when you're in briefcase mode. And pro number three is the next level organization of this front compartment. Con number one, you got like a little bit of a zip ridge overkill. This looks like Tab's worst nightmare. And also the zipper is a little loud. We refer to this as the air jingle experience. And con number two is when you're in backpack mode, while the shoulder straps are comfortable, there's no real back panel. Not a lot of padding and absolutely zero ventilation. The Air Flight Pack 2 is a great business backpack for some, but is it the business backpack for you? To find out the answer to that question, you should watch the full review, which you can find in the description below. Last on the list is the Nomatic Travel Pack, AKA the best expansion business backpack in the game. Expansion, what do you mean? Let me show you is that this is a 20 liter backpack, perfect for your everyday carry, going to and forth from your meetings to your job, right? But then you gotta catch that flight to the conference, right? You just unzip right here. And if voila, you go from 20, 30 liters. Like I said, 20 liters is pretty ideal for an everyday carry. But 30 liters, assuming you're a light packer and you're just going on a quick trip, maybe a weekend business trip, then 30 liters is great for one bag travel. It's got nomadic, super sleek business aesthetic. Same tarpaulin that's on the messenger. Remember, great for weather resistance, not great for scratch resistance. The first compartment is 
the pockets compartment, the front compartment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pockets just in this one compartment. Business card holder, small product samples, throw your AirPods right there, small documents at the bottom. RFID safe compartment for your passport. A business person's dream. But wait, there's more. 270 degree zipper access opens all the way. More pockets, more pockets, more pockets, more pockets, more pockets, more pockets. If you hate pockets, you're gonna hate the Nomadic Travel Pack. And then here you can see this is like the 20 liter, so the everyday carry stuff. But then when you go to that business trip, you need to expand the extra 10 liters, extra literage. And that gives you access to like the suitcase compartment. This little back area is good for perhaps more documents, more papers. And then finally, quick look at the tech compartment. Document sleeve, tablet compartment, laptop compartment. Now, the website does not specify how large of a laptop can fit in the laptop compartment. But as you can see, our 14 inch PC laptop fits in there perfectly with room to spare. I'd say a 15 inch should be fine. And then on the back, you got some nice comfort, a little bit of ventilation, but we'll talk about the back a little bit more in the next section, pros and cons. Let's do it. Pro number one, I love this front compartment business organization area. Pro number two, it stands up on its own and holds its shape, which can help give you that really strong business presence. And pro number three, pretty obvious. The ability to expand your backpack from 20 liters to 30 liters is perfect for a traveling business person. Cons though, let's go to this back compartment. The Nomadic Travel Pack is advertised as a backpack slash briefcase hybrid, but it's not great. I'm not gonna show you here. If you're interested in why, you should definitely watch our full review. And con number two, while the water bottle pockets are nice because they have this magnet, which keeps them nice and flush, when you're double loaded with the water bottles, it kind of looks like a bat. It's like, Bleh! you know? <laughs> and people hate that. You're probably asking yourself, oh, I wanna know more about why the whole backpack to briefcase mode transition sucks. And you can find that out by heading down to the description and clicking on the link to our full Nomadic Travel Pack review. If you found this review useful, the best way to support our channel is to hit the like button and let us know your comments below. Also, which one of these business backpacks is perfect for you? And also just let us know what we missed so we can make the next review better. Thank you so much, we'll see you next time.